What up, y'all? Welcome back to She Gets It Podcast. I am having a um, a slow draft blizzard into December in Georgia because it's cold. Yesterday it snowed. I know. I said it. Yesterday it snowed. Today it's just cold and windy. And my lips are so dry. I got to lick them so you can hear them. So, <laughs> we not discussing that today, though. Today, I want to talk about triple C's, okay? My triple C's. My triple C's are very important, and I'm going to tell you why. People lack a lot these days, okay? And love to show you things that don't mean shit, okay? On IG, on Facebook, on Twitter, on whatever live or whatever story they want to pop up because, you know, Twitter got a story now, a fleet, <laughs> Get to a point where being consistent is a goal for you, okay? Having compassion is a thing for you, especially for others. And having consideration puts you in a moral position in life where you don't have to worry about bad things happening to you because you've been doing so good. You're ready to receive that positive energy. You're ready to see, receive that karma that you you deserve, Okay, if you are consistent in a good way, you're compassionate and you have consideration for other. I feel like with those triple C's, you'll be good in life. And I'm going to get into why. Some people are consistent about fucking up. (laughs) I mean, some people are consistent liars. Some people are consistent assholes. Some people are consistently not meeting you halfway to be fair. (sighs) Oh. It's so exhausting to say it, (laughs) but it's true. It happens. Some people are consistently ready with the I'm sorry's on pivot because they ain't shit. Man, all you need to do is get you some people who are consistently good to you and good to you in life and good in life and switch it up. That's it. If you keep surrounding yourself with people that you know are going to disappoint you, you can't be surprised at the disappointment. Okay, you have to put less into your hopes with that person because that's just their thing. They they are disappointing. Okay, that is just who they are. When it comes to compassion, having compassion for others is for others is very attractive. It's very attractive to me. I don't know about you, but I love to see when people strangers are compassionate to other people. It's good for the soul. It makes you feel good when you see good. If you scroll through Instagram, it might make you cry a little bit. If you're watching a movie that's very touching, it might make you bawl and cry a little bit. Me, especially on Sundays. I watch that documentary, Time. Ooh-wee! That lady had four sons, okay? Two of them were twins as babies and never, ever in their 19 years of living grew up with their father in the house because he was locked up. And she stayed married to him and she stayed loyal to him all those years with him being locked up. But y'all need to check it out. But um, back to the topic. I feel like compassionate people deserve everything in life. To be compassionate is to have the ultimate measurement of how human you are or how human people can be being a kind spirit can be the difference between life and death for some people chances of someone coming through for you when you ran out of options is scary and next to god when it happens and it comes through you didn't just stumble upon you know an opportunity you didn't just stumble upon some money you didn't just stumble upon an extra day or um, a, you know, we're going to go ahead and give you a free pass this time. Or we're going to go ahead and extend the, the due date. That's not random. Okay? I feel like those things happen to people who have put the effort in, put the work in. And those those extra hours or those um, extra moments you spent on that one thing where you could have left. And you gave more effort and you gave more action and you gave more your time has has now led you up to this moment. That's how I feel. 
I'm not saying you have to feel like that, but that's how I feel. If you have it in you to help someone and you can, do so without needing anything in return. Which brings me into consideration. Consideration is about thinking of others outside yourself. We all have things we need to do. I had so many things I need to do today. It's the first of the month. I had things I need to do, places I need to be, times where I had to be X, Y, and Z and get certain things done, get back to the house, be able to feed the girls, you know, be able to um, edit things, be able to talk to certain people at the beginning of the month, set, set meetings up, set recordings up. Like, I had things to do today. And don't get me wrong, I have those moments where I wake up and I think, damn, I don't want to do. I want like two weeks of no responsibilities. And when I say no responsibilities, I'm not just talking about being a mom. I'm talking about everything. Everything regarding adulting. Worrying about if something's working. Worrying about if I have to pay something. Worrying about if I forgot something. Worrying about where I have to be on somebody else's time. On somebody else's watch. Worrying about what I don't have, what I need. Worrying about um, if I will be able to. Worrying about what needs to get paid or what's coming up or how I'm going to pay it or where I'm going to be at. Is it going to be good or bad? Like, I need two weeks of no responsibility. But the reality is I can't get that because I'm an adult, I'm a mother, and I'm a creator, and I got things I got to do, so I'm responsible for a lot of things. Being a better person and doing what you wish someone would do for you is the ultimate time to have consideration. Just because people burned you in the... Hey guys, just a reminder, it's that season where it's getting colder. You worried about making sure that your house is warm and you're cozy and comfy and clean. And you worried about getting gifts for your family and making sure everybody's happy this season going into 2021. But please remember that there are people out here living on the streets with no closet to go through, no warm place to be. So if you have any spare blankets in your house that you would just need to get rid of, put it in the trunk. If you have any spare coats, gloves, or hats, put it in the trunk. Anything that will keep someone who is, you know, not so fortunate like you in life, on the street, warm, put it in the trunk. And when you see them, just go in your trunk and pass it to them. I think giving people what they need and not sometimes what they want, where it's money. Because some people, when you offer them food, they don't want food. Some people, when you offer them anything else that you feel like you would need if you were homeless, they don't want that. They want money. But most of the time, money is why they're in that predicament. Money is why they couldn't manage it while they're in that predicament. Um, resources, uh, just anything could be why they're in that predicament. But I know having a warm, clean blanket that's new will keep them warm. I know having a hat makes a difference. Having gloves make, makes a difference. Having socks makes a difference. You could go to the dollar store. You can go to um, Target, Kroger, go in the travel section, get some soap for them, get some lotion for them. Get, you know, toothpaste, toothbrush for them. Anything that you can spare, put it in the trunk. Put something in the trunk for someone else that's not as fortunate as you. Thank you for listening to She Gets It Podcast. Peace. Pass, and I'm not talking sexually. But, like, you know, told you they were going to do something, never did it. You paid them to do something, they just took your money. You know, you let them borrow something and they stole it. Their numbers change. They don't live there no more. You paid a deposit and they took it and they never gave you any services. That, just because people burned you in the past doesn't mean moving forward you need to treat other people, other strangers who did not burn you like shit. It doesn't mean you you need to think the worst in people because you don't. Do, does that require more faith? Yes. Does that require more digging down deep inside and giving people the benefit of the doubt 
when they haven't given you a reason to not trust them? Yes, but that's what we have to do. Or you get to limit the way you move around in life. You got to limit the people that you deal with in life if you're so closed-minded and you're thinking everybody is out to get you. You have to show consideration for other people because you don't know who's watching. Your kids could be watching. Your nephew could be watching. Your niece could be watching. You know, a complete stranger could be watching and be like, okay, so that tells me not to trust anybody in life. That tells me to only worry about myself, make sure I get through the door and not hold the door for anybody else because they're always going to be rude. People aren't always going to be anything. Everybody is different. So I feel like fairness, everybody needs to be given a clean slate until they prove otherwise. It's a lot of people walking around earth right now thinking everybody's out to get them. Let me get me because I don't want nobody to take my space. Or that was my turn. Or you cut in front of me. Oh, you you got in front of me at the red light. I was supposed to be in front of you. Like, it's pointless at the end of the day. You have to really think and consider the outcomes of why... You forgot this and now you're turning your car back around to go to the house and go pick something up that you forgot. Why do you have to be two minutes later than when you could have left, but you forgot something? Why is the seatbelt stuck in the door and I got to pull over and do that? Like all those little things I think about throughout my day. And I learn to get not get mad at it because you don't know what that minute, those five minutes, those 10 minutes are doing to save your time. You don't know. I've been driving around all week doing stuff, minding my business with the car. Didn't notice the car was low on air. Had to take Ian's dad to the airport today. And I, I was hearing it go over the, you know, the little spaces in the road. And I was like, my tire sounds kind of low. Got to the supermarket. That thing was low. Like, there was no, like, almost no air in it. I'm just like, okay. I got a slow leak. It is an old tire. It's time for me to get some tires. I would love to go to a tire spot and be like, hey, can I get four new tires on this car and pay for it and not even have to think about it? But the reality is right now, I do not have it to be like, hey, let me get four new tires on this car. But I'm now aware that one, I need to put air in this tire, which I did. Two, I'm still focused on that tire because that is the vehicle that I, you know, I drive my kids in. So I know I need a new tire. Certain things you don't consider until you have to. Now you're taking things into consideration. Okay? So take people into consideration. Take moments into consideration that it can be helping you. It's not someone getting in the way. It's not one someone stopping you from getting somewhere faster. It's not, oh, you're dumb because you forgot something. It's life. And life is a long timeline of time and moments and choices with people. So don't knock it. Just be appreciative of the moments where you do get to reflect on, okay, so I see why this happened. If I got to the store any later, I would have missed the deal. I would have missed the sale. If I um, went to the other store, I would have missed the last one. Things like that. And I think everything going on in life, people don't really consider the small stuff or the chances that they've been given. And... um, Even me driving back home in the car by myself, I said to myself, dang, God, I thought, I thought I was going to get a house that I passed, that I looked at. And when I turned, I could see over a few fences and I saw a man at the, um, the house that I was looking at over the fence. And who would have thought, I didn't think, I didn't know. My house that I was going to get was a few fences over. But that's timing. Like, things happen for you because they're supposed to happen for you. Things happen to you because of moments upon moments upon moments that led up to that result. 
It's not just, oh, this is out the blue. I don't feel like anything is out the blue. And that's just me. I'm not telling you to feel like that. So if you can, please remember your triple C's. Remember to be consistent in a good way. Become passionate to other people. Show some compassion. And have some consideration. Because people need it. People need it to show themselves that they can also be human. Peace. Thank you.